how to prevent the blood sugar spike happening early in the morning now i'm not talking about high fasting blood sugars we talked about this in the past i am talking about you wake up and your blood sugars are not too bad it's like 90 to 100 milligram per deciliter and then suddenly like an hour later and you're just doing nothing is watching the news your Dexcom or Libre is just beeping on you. Beep, 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 beep. Your blood sugar is 200. Your blood sugar is 200. You're like, ah, what's going on? Oh, well, I'll tell you what's going on. And I'll tell you how to stop this from happening right now. Let's get started. So, guys, this happens to a lot of you, right? So, your blood sugar starts going up, although you're doing nothing. Sometimes it goes up with coffee, and we talked about this in another video as well. But, like, sometimes you just do nothing. Now, what happens is, you know, dawn phenomenon is something that definitely affects it. You know, dawn phenomenon happens, like, around after 4 or 5 o'clock, and then it pretty much ends around 6, 6.30. But then you wake up at 8 o'clock and your blood sugar keeps going up until like 10 o'clock. You're like, that's not dawn phenomenon, right? What is it then? Well, it is your cortisol. When you get up from the bed, your body says, okay, it's ready. It's time to get up and moving. We need something. We need something ready to go that is readily available. What is it? Sugar. Well, your liver stores that sugar in the form of glycogen so that if you're not eating right away, that sugar will maintain you. Because let's say you are late, you need to go to work, you just overslept and you're like, you gotta get up and go. You know, adrenaline is pumping, cortisol is pumping, you need that sugar, otherwise you're gonna collapse without eating, right? So that's how body is designed. So as a result, that cortisol that's kicking in in the morning or right after you wake up, actually makes the blood sugar creep up on you even if you're not like really stressed out even if you're just sitting that waking up is a stress response for the body to say okay something is about to happen we woke up we need to get something going that is a natural phenomenon a cortisol typically goes up at that time now dawn phenomenon you have cortisol growth hormone adrenaline you have a bunch of stuff going on while you're sleeping you know to get you ready but then the moment you get out of the bed there's another cortisol spike now when you're insulin resistant that cortisol spike really affects you more than usual like if i wake up at 80 blood sugar right and i do nothing my blood sugar may go up to 90 you know maybe 95 but a diabetic can wake up with a blood sugar of 110 and their blood sugar may go up to 160 180 without doing anything and that's exactly what's happening now how do you really prevent that well since you now you know what's happening you can do a few things now if you're taking insulin injections let's say you know i'm just assuming you are taking insulin injections but as an easy way to deal with it if you're on insulin already and you're supposed to take insulin for your breakfast and most people don't eat right away so you're like you know you're gonna have a breakfast in an hour from now what you can do if your blood sugar is pretty much going up every morning you can go ahead and take that insulin early because you know you're not gonna drop uh, because your blood sugar is you know you're just gonna go up unless you do something so you can take that insulin in sort of like 10 minutes before you can take that short acting insulin maybe 30 minutes even 45 minutes before and then see what happens and that's a trial and error you can decide how early to take another thing is again if you're on insulin even a pump or anything like that then you can just have your endocrinologist adjust your pump which i do that all the time you know just to adjust for that couple hours in the morning the third thing that if you're not on insulin and you're like doc are you trying to put me on insulin or what <laughs> no i'm not so if you're not taking insulin you know of course one thing you can do is take a nice walk go out and do something early in the morning while it is still nice and chilly you know fresh air you know that's definitely gonna help you burn those calories but another thing you have to keep in mind is to eat something because guess what when you eat actually the gluconeogenesis which is the glucose production process that comes from the liver stops right and if you're not introducing a bunch of carbs if you're not just sitting down and eating a whole watermelon for breakfast if you're eating like some eggs and some cheese, some yogurt or something like that, 
that's really not gonna actually spike your blood sugar and actually will stop your blood sugar from rising because it's going to tell your body that okay relax there's food coming in here cortisol goes down gluconeogenesis goes down glucagon goes down all these things definitely help you keep your blood sugar more stable so in a nutshell in a summary get up unless you're doing like a little long stretches of intermittent fasting get up have a breakfast a heart healthy diabetes healthy breakfast that is not loaded with carbs no french toast and no pancakes no nothing like that or cereal oh my god don't even think about that if you can get rid of those bad food but have some good hearty food for your breakfast that's going to help maintain your blood sugar better uh, take a walk or do some exercises uh, if you cannot walk do some upper body workouts or arm workouts in the morning to get your going started with exercise and some good food and i think that will be very helpful i hope that video was helpful see you next time hey guys i hope you're enjoying this channel so far and i hope you subscribed already if you didn't do it and if you did Watch this video right there, I think that will help you too.